This is Blue Jays Central. Gritchick's throw toward the plate, up the line, and the Tigers take the lead. Blue Jays fall to 39 and 45. After a split decision with the Tigers, the Blue Jays welcome one of the team's all-time greats back to town. The to the track, deep left field, no doubt about it. It's a good feeling to be back. Obviously, a lot of emotions and a lot of memories. Is the swing back? We discuss Batista's bounce back season in New York. And he hits one deep to left center field. It's out of here! Jose Bautista with his fifth home run of the year, his third as a Met. Fresh off a hot June, Marco Estrada looks to burn Zach Wheeler and the Mets. Blue Jays Central, next. ready to welcome home one of this franchise's greatest players. It is the series opener between Jose Batista's New York Mets and your Toronto Blue Jays right here on Sportsnet. So great that you can join us inside our Samsung broadcast studio right here at Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. Hi, everybody. Glad you could join us. Pinch hitting for Jamie Campbell. I'm Hazel May. Joe Siddle uh, on deck to weigh in on what should be a memorable night here at Rogers Center. It is the return of Jose Batista. Batista and Blue Jays fans will get their chance to thank Batista for everything he did to make baseball relevant again in this country. We are leading off with game one between the Mets and the Jays, but that, of course, is not the narrative on this night. Tonight, Batista returns to Rogers Center for the first time since he parted ways with the club as a free agent at the end of last season. Batista will go down in history as one of the franchise's all-time greats, but he also makes a return as a contributing member of the New York Mets. Here's what I mean. Batista has been producing in the Big Apple, hitting 250 with a 418 on base percentage in 38 games, 36 rather. His 21.8% walk rate since he signed on with the Mets is second in the majors. Now, in fan graphs, weighted runs created stat. I know Joe loves this. Batista <laughs> is 35th out of 303 qualified players, stay with me now, at 147. Brandon Nemo is the only Met who's done better over that time period. Let's quickly get down to field level where Arash Mandani is standing by. Arash, you were there when Batista made his first public comments here in Toronto wearing a Mets uniform. Yeah, and Hazel, the week really for Bautista began on Sunday night. That's when the Mets arrived here in Toronto. Yesterday, he spent his off day visiting some old friends, going to a couple of his favorite restaurants in the city. And he said this, this is my home away from home. And for Bautista, this return has been full of nostalgia. It feels great. Uh, feels like nothing's changed, so it's a good feeling to be back. Obviously, a lot of emotions and a lot of memories, so... Um, glad to be able to enjoy those. It's different, a little bit strange, but I guess in this world and this sport, I guess you got to adjust and try to be comfortable in any setting that you might find yourself. How hard or maybe how easy was it to shed your Blue Jay skin? Well, I don't think you ever um, do that. Once, once you've played in one place for that long. But it was, again, tough just because it's you're not what you're used to. Um, you even feel like the other uniforms look strange on you, uh, even the colors. So, But it's an adjustment, and I'm still going through it. I think we had some successes. I had a lot of memories, and I get to share that with the fans. That's, that's kind of the bottom line. The bottom line has always been the bottom line when it comes to Bautista, who injected a little Joey Bats. He said, I know I can still play. Hazel referenced how well he's been at the plate of late. He said a point of emphasis coming into the season when he was working on his own. Don't forget, he didn't have a spring training, was cutting down on the strikeouts. He said, that's what I learned last year. I'm trying to get more walks. That was something that was prevalent when Bautista was a Blue Jay. He said the highlights, of course, were the bat flip. And home run number 54, and he is not alone. Easily one of the most prepared guys I've ever been around. 